Hey, welcome back to another Q&A session episode. Today's question comes from a couple different people, actually lots of different people, asking me, where do I go to school? And how do I get a job while I'm in school, if it's even possible, okay? Do I go to university? Do I go to state college? Do I go to a community college? Or do I go to a, <clears throat> a technical institute, okay? Where do I go? Where do I begin? This question is for people that are brand new into the profession or looking to get into the profession and uh, they want to find out, all right, how do I get my education? And you know what? It might even apply to people that are already in that want a further education. So here goes, all right? The first thing you have to figure out is what you want to do in this profession. What career path do you want to choose? I broke it down in another video about the different types of job roles. If you haven't seen that one yet, I suggest you probably pause this one and click the link to the other video down below and, uh, and check that out because it's really important that you know what you want to do in your career path in IT before you figure out how you want to pursue your education. Okay, so here's the deal. You can go and get a, an associate's degree and get in the job market, or you can go get your, your BA at either of the you know, universities, community not a community, but a state college, or you can go to some place like DeVry or ITT Technical Institute. Those are the two big ones here in the United States. I'm sure there's other local ones. The difference between the technical institutes and the traditional colleges is the amount of time it takes to get through and the classes that you take. With a technical institute, it's a lot more focused on technology. Even though there's some classes in there that you have to take that are not really related, <clears throat> it's not as many as going to a regular college slash university. You're going to have to take other classes in there that you might feel are irrelevant, but it's part of the curriculum. You have to do it. There's no way around it. And I will tell you that there's going to be some classes that you'll have to take that, that you know what, I, I would actually wouldn't mind taking them because it broadens your horizon. It will help you with life in general and your career. So go in there with an open mind and, uh, and just learn all you can because knowledge is power. Um, once you get into the workplace. Now, with uh, the technical institutes, again, you can still get your BA, uh, bachelor degrees there as well, but it goes a lot faster, it's more focused, and a lot of times they have job placement programs that will help you get into the job place, get into the you know corporate world or wherever while you're going to school and even post-graduation it's probably not something you'll find very often at a at a university or college level although maybe the state colleges and community college might have something like that but when you start getting into the big schools it might be a little bit tougher okay that's the major difference there <clears throat> um, if you don't have any experience at all I suggest that you start studying on your own, buying a computer. You know, if, if, if your career path is to get your hands dirty, you know, meaning you want to get into the company, you want to start breaking stuff, you want to start fixing things, you want to start banging that keyboard <clears throat> and, uh, you know, working after hours to, uh, to do maintenance stuff on, on, your, on your environment because you can't do it uh, during business hours. Do you want to start building server networks? Do you want to start troubleshooting networks? Do you want to get into you know administration, that kind of stuff? That again is going to depend on how you how you how you focus or where do you focus your education. If you're going through a university curriculum, it's an extremely broad curriculum. I mean, you're going to learn bits and pieces of everything about information systems uh, or information technology, and so. You're gonna you're gonna have all this sporadic information in your head, and uh, I don't know if it's gonna give you the direction that you really want to go. So, either way, you know, uh, 
you know, choose wisely depending on your career path. If you want to start to get into management <clears throat> eventually, then the bachelor's degree will certainly help you there because a lot of companies do require uh, some kind of management uh, degree or bachelor's degree. It'll be very helpful for you if that's your career path to get that degree and uh, they, they definitely will look for that. But if you're in a company for a long period of time and you work your way up, you know, they're gonna know you, you'll be, you'll be part of that culture so it'll be a lot easier for you. The bachelor's degree might not be that important, but um, certainly go do it if, uh, if that's something that you want to do. An associate's degree will probably help you out as well. That's all I got in 1999. I went to some tech school and, uh, and got an associate's degree. And, uh, you know, it, it, it certainly helped me get in, but it really didn't do a lot, lot more for me. Uh, bachelor's degree, it, it wasn't really my interest, and that's why I didn't go do it. So, um, but again, that's just me. You decide for yourself what you want to do, and, uh, and, and, go, and just go get it done and hammer it out. Go get a job if you can while you're in school. Start networking with people. Go, to, go look at my video on how to get an entry-level job. I explain that a little bit more. And so that's it for you, folks. I hope that helped you out. Let me know down in the comments below. Share the video. Subscribe if this is your first time here. If you haven't subscribed yet, I appreciate every single one of you for watching these videos over and over again. Share it out, and uh, we'll catch you on that next video. Click the link below as well underneath the... Uh, the video links. I want to send you something off my blog that will help you out as well. We'll talk to you on the next video. Take care. See ya.